two metals means copper and gold or copper or silver right and we strike uh, uh, a single photon of a fixed frequency first on the silver right then uh, the silver electron that will uh, consume some energy that will be the work function right that will consume that is the energy consumed by the electron before it come out from the metal surface some of the energy is consumed that is work function okay so the, the same photon of same frequency or same energy right and uh, for one metal compared to different metal the work function is different right means uh, uh, that uh, um, uh, work function in one metal and other metal they are different means consumption of energy in uh, by the electron in the different metal is different because electrostatically the electron is bound uh, differently in the different metal so in this question we have a metal surface with work function 1.50 electron volt electron volt is the unit of energy right so we have to find out uh, first we have to find out uh, uh, critical frequency so find the critical frequency fc determine critical frequency okay so if we make a diagram we have a metal sheet we have a metal sheet right and we have electrons in the metal sheet but they are uh, in the metal sheet they are not uh, out of the metal sheet and every electron that needs minimum this much of energy right to uh, get free from the electrostatic forces and that is 1.50 electron volt that is given for this metal sheet okay now we have to find out uh, the critical frequency of the incident photons these are the incident photons so so for this work function what should be fc critical frequency right critical frequency means uh, already we did the graph uh, right what is the critical frequency? if work function for different metal is different so definitely the critical frequency the minimum frequency needed to just just eject the electron that will also be different Mika, if work function for different metal is different so definitely fc right fc for different metal that will also be different okay because if uh, we take one metal with this much of uh, work function right so critical frequency uh, we need some critical frequency if we take another metal sheet right having the work function phi is equal to 2.50 then we need different fc if we see third metal having phi is equal to 4.50 we need different fc okay so for this situation find fc so you can use this formula you can use this formula right so from this formula you can find fc right so we know h fc critical frequency that is equal to Five. This is the okay. So FC that will be equal to phi by h, and phi is given. Phi is given 1.50 electron volt. But you have to change it into joule, right? Now how to change electron volt into joule? Multiply by charge on the electron. Why we are converting this? Because in the denominator you have Planck's constant 6.63 times 10 power minus 34 joule second. In the denominator you have joule. So in the numerator also you have to change it into joule. Right? So electron volt that can be converted into joule if you multiply by charge on the electron 1.6 times 10 raised to the power minus 90. Now if you do this mathematics so finally you will get uh, and uh, this now this is in joule right this is in joule now this joule joule this is cancelled and the unit comes out that is one upon second one upon second the final unit that comes out right and one upon second right one upon second that is hertz one up, if we divide one by the second then we will get frequency and the fre unit of frequency is in hertz so the final frequency that will be 3.62 times 10 raised to the power 14 hertz. So if we have a metal surface with this much of work function, then the critical frequency will be this. Means if we send the photons uh, with a frequency less than this frequency, then electrons will not come out. Right? If we 
through the photons of frequency less than this frequency. We suppose I send the photon 3.6 to 10 power 13 hertz. No photocurrent you will get. Your galvanometer will not show a deflection. Right? Why we are calculating the critical frequency? So that we can find out uh, the minimum frequency needed to get the photocurrent. Make a clear to get the photocurrent. So this is the lowest value. So if we send the photons uh, with a frequency greater than this, then definitely we will get the photocurrent. So this is part A, calculate FC, calculate FC. Now in part B, in part B, now in part B, you have to calculate the energy of the photoelectrons, right? Suppose uh, one electron come out, we send the photons, right, of critical frequency, this is the critical frequency and the electrons uh, uh, that come out, right? So it comes out with some uh, kinetic energy, Ek, and it has some speed also, speed, uh, velocity also, right, velocity. So now in the next question, the part B, calculate the kinetic energy and the speed of emitted photoelectron, right. So in the part B, uh, calculate, calculate kinetic energy. and speed of photoelectron speed of photoelectron so how we can find out the kinetic energy and speed of the photoelectrons so we will use this equation now suppose if the electrons are coming out, so definitely the photons they have energy or the frequency greater than Fc, right? If in the exam we are asked to find the uh, energy and speed, so energy and speed means we have to use this equation. So now if I use this equation, how I will use this equation? Now we see carefully. So E max that is equal to H into Fc minus 5 mega added out but but in the first question we are given uh, 5 and we calculated Fc also right so now I can replace 5 by HFC in this equation I can replace 5 by HFC right 5 by HFC so now I can write my equation to calculate the energy H F minus H into F C. Clear? I can replace phi by H F C. I can take H common. So that will be H F minus F C. Now the, in the second part we are also given now it's not Fc photons. Now we are sending a photon. Okay. Now we are sending a photon. We know the, the work function of this metal. We know the critical frequency also. Right. Now I send the photons uh, greater than this. Right. This is 3.62 times 10 to the power 14. Right. The critical frequency. But now I will throw the photons uh, of frequency F is equal to 6.2. One zero means approximately double of this times 10 to power 40. Now we have a metal surface with this much of work function, this much of critical frequency, but I send the photon, I throw the photon, I strike the photon of frequency 6.10 times 10 to power 40. Of course now this frequency is greater than critical frequency. Now definitely the electrons will come out. Now we have to calculate their energy and speed. Make it clear. We know for this metal the, the work function is this. We know uh, for this metal critical frequency is this. Now what I did once the critical frequency is decided that I will increase the frequency of the photon. Now I choose this much of frequency. Now with this much of frequency I will expect the photo emission. I will expect the emitted electrons. Now these electrons, how much kinetic energy they have, how much speed they have, right? We have to calculate. Now first I will calculate how much 
energy. How much kinetic energy? When they come out, what is their kinetic energy? Because this is this frequency is greater than critical frequency. Clear? Now this is the mathematics we have to do because we know the critical frequency, everything we know now we can find E max. So E max now we can calculate that will be equal to H is 6.63 times 10 power minus 34. This F is given 6.10. 6.10 times 10 to power uh, 14 and FC is also given FC is 3.62 okay so minus 3.62 times 10 power 14 okay so now I can take 10 power 14 out because this is here also here also so E max E max that can be written as 6.63 times 10 power minus 34 and this will be simple 6.10 you have calculator or not 3.62 and I can take this out so this will be multiplication 10 power 14 so E max that can be written as E max that will be equal to 6.63 right um, 